So now I'm going to be looking at uh, Dick Tracy on the Sega Genesis, the Sega Mega Drive. Very cool intro too. 1990 game. New, 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 new. Touchstone pictures. Just a bit on Dick Tracy. Um, not really a fan of it. Colourful, but a flop. Um, I think I used to really like Dick Tracy, but never really got into the character like like Batman, basically. Yeah, but this is cool. So I think A is the machine gun. Um, B is the gun, and C is jump. But you can change it around. The great thing about this is you can shoot the background as well as the people in the background. Um, all the enemies and stuff. So there's a mailbox by the look of it. But you can shoot the windows, you can shoot the uh, phone booth. This game is relentless to be honest with you as well, but it's not overly impossible. You can shoot the uh, little fire hydrant there. Ah, he doesn't shoot it. But I'll probably shoot it upcoming. This is done by um, a long player, by the way. I just wanted to uh, say that. So you've got various uh, villains and uh, various various enemies. They're all coming at you from all ends. But look at that, you can shoot everything in the background. That's, the graphics are just superb for 1990. And um, yeah, this game is there's not a whole lot to say. You, it's a I don't know what you classify it as. I guess a shoot 'em up, not a shoot 'em up, not a shmup, up, uh, some sort of shooter. I, I don't know. Hard to say. It's a platforming shooter, I think, or something. <laughs> I don't really know. Someone will clear that up on my thing on YouTube. But they're coming at you quite frequently, uh, and uh, it's most important that you shoot the ones in the background because they really do start shooting shots at you uh, quite frequently. And uh, oh, he's finished stage one. That is, that's not too hard to finish. And there's also bonus rounds and that sort of thing. Oh, he's got no bullets, so it's time to uh, go for the old jab. The music's really good too. I, I put up a few levels of the music. Um, the bonus round one is the coolest, and the boss theme. We'll play up the Itchy's kind of demise. Yeah, technically there's not much to it. Um, oh, I hate the guys with the dynamite. I used to read this a lot back in the day, uh, along with the other, you know, exclusives like Splatterhouse, like, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the one, well, Streets of Rage for sure, Shinobi, that sort of thing, uh, Sonic, and there you can climb up that uh, little area there to get onto the, the actual locomotive, the, the train. having a Milo. You can get Milo in the can now, and it's quite good. Milo is just an energy drink here in Oz. I'm into all the energy drinks, you know. But who cares about that? Guys with who punch, guys with dynamite, and guys with guns, and uh, yeah. Sometimes you got to back up from those guys with the dynamite. Why oh, is at the very end again? When you're at the end, the uh, the stage doesn't move anymore. So, so, so he's exited that. Oh, I got the message. Now it's time to face uh, Itchy already. Jeez, it's been about four minutes. Itchy is a cool character. I think Itchy was played by the guy who did Alice. The guy who played uh, that. Yeah. I never really watched Alice. 
I think he was also in, um, I may not be him, I, I forget, but I really haven't watched the film in a long time. This is quite an extensive battle with Ichi. But you've got to shoot Ichi as well as the enemies, and it's, it's actually quite challenging. Ichi's a bit of a pusher, but, um, Prune Face is a pain in the ass. And, uh, I think whoever the one with the dynamite is, you know, And you've really got to shoot Itchy as much as you can because he's got energy. He's the main boss, you know. Say here, it's just um, you've also got a score. You got it here is what you got. You got a score in one corner. You've got uh, the energy of the boss in another corner. You've got the amount of time you've got to kill, and a little gun thing there, life meter and life lives. How many lives you got? So there's quite a lot going on the screen at once. So it's not for a novice really this game, but. The, the first few stages are very easy to pass, to be honest with you. Itchy, you should be able to pass Itchy's kind of area. Itchy's area. <laughs> um, so there he's beaten Itchy. This case is going to blow up in your face, Copper. So yeah. Um, that's the end of that, basically. I just wanted to get to that. And then we'll watch a bit of the bonus round anyway. If we can fit it in. If we can fit it in. Yeah, so A, B, or C will control which one you can hit, basically. So A, B, C, you got to shoot. you got to be careful. It's not the easiest game, this, uh... I think you shot a, a police officer then. you got to go... you got to... Yeah, you got to lay off the innocents, basically. The postman, police, that sort of thing. Oh, he did pretty well there. Alright, I'll leave it at that. So now I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Ash, um, basically the fight off with Ash, um, which is this really clamboyant kind of gay character that they've got um, in Streets of Rage 3. They've got some odd things in Streets of Rage 3, including the music. The music is quite odd. Um, it's not my favourite. It's kind of trance music. Yeah. So Ash has done a throw. Look at him. Look at Ash. He's pitiful. It's a pitiful representation of gays. He's got the print symbol, he's got uh, purple, green, stilettos. Oh, look at how he jumps. That is so gay. I think he's quite easy to beat. I just haven't really played Streets of Rage 3, but um, we'll just take a look at the end of this battle. Yeah, this is by another YouTuber who put it up, so... And, um... The thing about um, Ash is he laughs at you when he when he beats you, and um, when he loses, he cries. Like, yeah, it's, it's actually quite good. Look at how he jumps! Oh my god, it's it's embarrassing. Beaten, and as you can see, he's crying there. So we'll leave it there.